This was no campaign like Peleliu. Much has been written about it in the higher echelons, among generals and so forth, comparing it to Iwo Jima or Tarawa. And they all admit that there was nothing quite like Peleliu. It was the biggest surprise I think the Marine Corps received in World War II. We just had never known an enemy like this. The Japanese fought in a manner that was uh, much better than they did in other, other battles in the Pacific. They didn't uh, have any glorious bonsai charges or anything else like that. Uh, they fought a very well-planned defensive uh, battle. I'm sure they knew from the beginning they were probably going to eventually lose, but they also realized that in losing, they were going to take a hell of a lot of us with them. And that's the way they fought it. And that's also why I think it became such a vicious battle. Because the Japanese didn't give up. They died first. They died. You ask someone, or you told them that you fought on Peleliu, and they'll say, Peleliu? Where in the hell is Peleliu? Tarawa was one of the most fierce battles that the press said, that, you know, there ever was in the Pacific. The 1st Marine Division lost more men the first three days on Peleliu than they lost total on Tarawa, and our battle had only started in three days. But nobody knew about it, and nobody knows about it today. <laughs>